I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. All right. Hello, everybody. Peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice came in good and clear. Please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you like or you wish. Uh, today we are going to have halal fun. And the, the best part of the halal fun is uh, to enjoy the ethic of a prophet Muhammad. You know, all of us, we knew that the prophet is somebody is very ethical. I mean, is, this is the point, right? Uh, why he is sent so he can teach us ethic why he is chosen because he is the best in ethic i have my skype open if there is a single muslim just a single muslim which i doubt will exist he can show us how muhammad is an ethical man i will be happy to have his call this is my Skype. This is how you can find me. Feel free to call us. Uh, you know, when the Muslims speak so highly of Muhammad, but their books still speak so low of Muhammad. And if the Muslim themselves in their books, they speak so low of Muhammad, that means the so low in the Muslims or according to Muslims is so high. According to my understanding, the worst of us is better than Muhammad. But Muhammad is the best of them. That is very interesting. Uh, people are asking, do you have a sore throat? Please focus in what I'm saying, not in my voice. No, my voice, I don't have a sore throat. Maybe you have a sore ears. Be mature, speak like an adult, and be with us as an adult. My voice is not of your business. Do we have any Muhammadan? He dare to call, to join us live on air, I mean, Yasser Qadi, he is busy trying to duct tape the hole in the narrative. The other Muslims are busy trying to make fake attack. Other Muslims are trying to speak about how Muhammad can solve all problems in the world. But we know the Quran is a clear witness that Muhammad could not even save himself from a bunch of women. When I say a bunch of women, I'm not putting women down, but I mean, the guy who claimed to be a leader for the world, sent by Allah, then when he have a fight with two women, they are not even five foot tall. Allah have to involve in order to control them for Muhammad, he could not. And the funny is that this man who brought a lot of good ethic, one of the ethic he taught us that we can beat women, which is very ethical. But yet in his inside his house, he was like a rat. And the proof in front of us. A man have a problem with his wives. He's a prophet of God. He's been given order to beat women. 
So what's happening here? Any Muslim? So imagine this, I have two wives only, not 13. And those two wives are really troublemakers. And if you read the chapter, by the way, you die laughing. Literally, you will die laughing. You know, remember, the one who wrote this chapter is Allah, the God of the universe. So the God of the universe, who sent the prophet with the best ethic, who taught mankind to be their women, in order to do what? To correct them. Mm -hmm. Then he himself, he's acting like a chicken inside the house, to the point he have to use his toy, Aka Allah, in order to control them. Let us see, maybe we have a text in Skype. <clears throat> You can call me only if you are a Muslim, so text me first, don't call me. Text me first, tell me you are a Muslim, I will take your call. If you do a repentance to him, your heart are indeed inclined. But if you back up each other against him, truly Allah is his protector. And Jibreel, and every righteous one among those who believe, and the far and furthermore the angels. I mean, who's left? You see, if this guy is fighting with Putin, I will say this Putin, he have a nuclear weapon, he can demolish Muhammad and his God. He is fighting with two women. One of them is a teenage. All of this, all of this drama of the reason for it, the God who created the heaven and the earth, and the, do you know how massive this universe is? So this God, he sent them a letter. He said, "Listen to me. If you don't you know, if you don't stop going against the prophet, who is very ethical, huh? What the problem? They found him having sex with the maid. So what? I mean, come on, he's a prophet of God." Actually, Aisha, she said something very interesting. She said, who of you control his testicles like the prophet and his penis? And I was saying, man, this guy, he controlled it very well. Sahih Muslim. Allah Messenger, Aisha reported, Allah pray on him, not for him used to kiss me while observing fast. <laughs> He's fasting now. <laughs> and who among you can control, and look at the fast translation, his desire, Irabahu, is his private parts. What, what desire? I mean, if the guy, he can control his private part, can't he control himself from kissing you until the fast is broke? So now, what is this, is a snack? Was the maid he was sleeping with, the maid who is a slave, by the way. So Muhammad is very ethical. He taught the Muslim to fast. And now during the fasting, we have, we need some snack, you know. So like, okay, let us suck some lips, eat some tongues, swallow some saliva. And all of this is not breaking the fasting so what is fasting is about then and all of this by the way his private part is asleep you know they are kissing but there's nothing happening you know he's controlling he's controlling brother he control yeah he control so the ethical prophet who taught us to beat women who kiss his women when he is fasting, is the same one who taught us amazing ethic regarding women. That women, they are evil and they are Satan. 
I mean, this guy, he see, he see women are evil, but he promised the Muslims a lot of them in heaven. He is desperate to have as many as he can. Yet he claimed, as he said, the prophet, he saw a woman advancing from, you know, the prophet, he said, a woman advancing in the form of the devil and retires in the form of the devil. So was Muhammad kissing Aisha by kissing the devil or kissing the devil by kissing Aisha? And what is what is the reason Muhammad he said the ethical man? Well, he saw a woman walking down street, and because he controlled his penis, you see the Aisha she said, "Who like you? Who like the Prophet controlled his penis?" And here I'm not going to ask you know how in the world Aisha she knew that Muhammad is better in controlling than others, if supposedly she was a virgin when he have her. You know what I mean? Like imagine you have a wife, she was a virgin when you married her, and then she said to you in the bed, man, you are the best in... <clears throat> How she know? I mean, did you try something else? In order to say such a statement, she has to be an expert. I mean, this is the best rice because we ate many rice. This is the best bread because we ate many bread. This is the best city because we've been in many cities. Now, this is the best of controlling his penis. Will she have to be Ben? She have to be Ben? Well, it's my English, who care? It have to be Ben, Mr. Bean, with many men. And yet, Aisha, she is telling us that the Prophet is the best to control his private part. To the point of women walking down street, he saw her. So what he did? Read with me carefully. Jabir reported that Allah Messenger, may Allah pray for him, not for to him. He saw a woman. What is the, what is the problem now? Look, look at the name of the chapter. The chapter recommendation. This is ethic. Recommendation. You go in the street, you know, especially these days, I mean, go to the street, don't go to the gym, because in the gym you see nothing but naked women. So, recommendation, brother, to the one who sees a woman and attracted to her, you know, recommendation, this is ethical recommendation. This is ethical recommendation. So you look at her, you keep staring, staring, staring. Oh, look at this. Oh, boy. Uh -huh. mm, what I see there. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, ethical. Very ethical. And then what he should do? He go to his wife or his slave women and <clears throat> F them. I mean, look at the options. You have two choices, brother. You go to your wife or a slave woman. Slave women is like, you know, you have like, you know, slave, she's not a human, it's like, oh, a slave woman. <laughs> so the ethical prophet, he was sitting in the front of his house, and then he saw a woman, and so he came to his wife. So I, I'm not going to describe in details what happened to Muhammad, the private part, which is usually never stand up, even if you play the anthem for it. According to the Hadith, Muhammad, he used to be the most weak person in Boom Boom between all mankind, as he claimed. And then he invoked Allah, and then he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 40 men. I'm not going to tell you now how in the world the Muslim, they were able to measure the power of Muhammad to be 40 men in Boom, in Efin. I mean, do you, do you have a race? Like, did you, like, you know, do, do we have like a stadium and there is many men are practicing, particip participating in the F in, uh, uh, championship. And then we find out that Muhammad, he can F as 40 men. How you, where did you get this from? I mean, this is an ethical prophet. Everything about him is about his penis. So now the prophet, he was sitting in the front of his house. Oh, look, somebody is walking in front of my window. Guys, I had to go. Oh boy, she is so good. Unbelievable. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I'm focusing now. I'm focusing. Oof, man, she is so good. Man, she's not like my wife. Man, she, look at this. Oh boy. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to go and find a slave girl because I don't have a wife. And then the prophet, he went to his wife, actually, and she was doing leather. You know, leather is a messy job. It will be sweaty, it will be dirty, her hand will be dirty, her clothes will be dirty, and she's boiling water, she is putting the leather in the smell, is so bad. So Muhammad, he went to his wife Zainab, and hold on, did we say Zainab? Yes. Zainab, in case you do not know, is the wife of his son, who he took her from his son. I mean, you see the ethic? So now Muhammad, he got Zainab at home. Like, is he now behaving? The ethical prophet. He took Zainab from her husband, if you remember. Uh, how, how, what happened with Zainab? Do you see why no Muslims is trying to text us or call us? They don't dare. They know that their prophet have a zero ethic. They don't. Muhammad, he went to the wife of his son, Zayn. Zayn is an uh, adopted son. But it doesn't matter. I mean, that doesn't even make it horrible. What if he's even just a friend? I mean, imagine you go to your friend house and then you, what do you do? Well, you flirt with the wife. And you say to her, Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you. In the house of a married woman, when the husband is not there and the husband is his son, who he announced him, he says from now on, everybody should know that Zaid is my son and I am the father of Zaid. What he do? He go to the house of his own son. He flirted with the wife. And this is according to the Muslim stories. Remember, those are people who worship this man. They will never let a story to go through unless they examine it to be true and not hurting the reputation of God. So according to their ethic, the Muslim ethic, this is fine. You see, the second you say, Muhammad, he did, it's okay, anything, anything. If you do that, oh no, brother, you cannot do that, brother. Haram, haram, halal fun, brother. This is not halal fun. <laughs> but the prophet, he can do that. And you know, obviously, this woman, Zainab, she is a whore. How we know? When the husband, he came, you see, a woman, she have a decency. She will be so angry, so upset. She will say to her husband, your disgusting father, he just left. He was here flirting with me. He was here what? Flirting with me. She did not say that. In fact, Zainab, she said that each time her husband, he tried to F her, Excuse my language. Allah, he made his penis swell. This is Tafsir Al-Qurtubi, value number 14, page number 189. And we will use Google Translation. Here it says, let us use Google Translation right away. And they say to you, those Christian, the Kuffar, brother, they say the Prophet Muhammad don't have miracle. Here we go. Muhammad, he liked this woman, she is married. Each time Zayb, it was narrated, 
in the report that in the evening Zaid he went to his bed. See, in the morning Muhammad he flirted with the women. In the evening Zaid he wanted to do boom boom to his wife. Zainab she said, but Zaid could not do boom boom to me, and I had not I, had, I did not refrain from from it except Allah he prevented him from me. Look at the miracle. Zaid when I do it, he hold it. <coughs> it's not working, you know. He try. Hey, Zaid, what's what's happening, man? I don't know. Truly, truly, I don't know, brother. I'm still young, but it's not working. Did you like? Did you eat something not right? No, no. I just, uh, you know, normal stuff like uh, you know, balut, kimchi, uh, hummus, you know. Yeah, I mean, normal stuff, brother. So uh, Zainab, she is a proud. This is a sign from God. Look, look, God is involved. The man, he want to do boom, boom. He's trying. He's so like, what the heck? What happened to it? Where it goes? He's even looking for it. He cannot find it. Like he unzips. It's, oh, it disappear. So Zainab, she is telling you a miracle at that night after the prophet who is very ethical, who flirt with married women to his son in her house. Zainab, obviously, she said to herself, why I want to marry this is an idiot when I can have the father who is going to be the king. He is the king already. Hmm? Which one is better for me? So the poor guy was prevented by Allah from doing boom boom to his wife. Let us be honest here. How many of you Allah prevented you from doing boom boom to your wife? Hmm? And they say to us, Allah is not exist. Brother, sisters, uh, hold on. I have a call. Christian Prince, first of all, this is the only proof that the Prophet Muhammad is the Prophet. Is I can like, what, how, do, how is that? First of all, if somebody is an atheist, he don't believe in God, he can show him this miracle. Can you explain to me, or to anybody in the person? What? To anybody in the person? Oh, you mean in person? Exactly. Can you explain to me how this miracle happened? I, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to explain. Can you explain? Very simple. Prophet of Allah, of Allah, he said, I like this woman. Allah, he always rests to the desire of Prophet Muhammad. So the man, he wanted to boom boom to his wife. Which is very normal thing to do. Especially at that time, not like today. We cannot do anything these days. Okay. Zach and I, speak of yourself. Mr. Prince, first of all, so when he came to the bed to do boom boom, Allah, he prevented him. Okay. How Allah, he prevented him? Are we live on air? No, we are not live on air, so you can say whatever you want. Well, it did not stand up. Uh, what did not stand up, Zakir? Did not stand up. Okay, just say the word. What is exactly the, like Zaid did not stand up? Because Prince, what had to do with Zaid? It in the private part. So why you don't say private part or say uh, the word P? Because uh, Prince, I'm very polite and I cannot say it because then my wife she will ask for it and I don't have it. Muslims, this is God's story. Allah, he prevented the husband from doing what that his right to do. And why? Because the prophet, he flirted with the wife in the morning in her house when the husband was not there. And then the story is not over. It says here in other report, it says that <laughs> the hadith was raised to Zainab that she said, which means coming from Zainab, the source is Zainab, that some narration that Zaid penis is swollen. I mean, not only now your wife is gone from your hand and your father, he took her. Now you have a bigger problem. Actually, it's bigger. I mean, it's a swelling way bigger. 
So now the poor guy, how Allah, he prevented him from doing boom, boom. His penis is swollen. Which means each time he tried to do anything, he will be badly in pain. This is the ethical prophet. And then the husband, when his wife, she told him that your father, he flirted with me today. Look how <laughs> she's proud of it. The man, he went to Muhammad. He says, you know, I want to divorce her, really. I mean, she is not good. Two hours ago, he want to F her. Two hours after, he want to divorce her. Why? Because now he noticed that his wife, obviously, sleeping with his father. He noticed right away that the wife, even in the in the hadith, it says "fafatina Zaid." So Zaid, he got it. "Fafatina Zaid." So he went to Muhammad. He said, "I want to divorce her." She heard me with her tongue, and she does does this and does that. I want to divorce her. Look at the fraud, Muhammad. He said to him. Why you want to divorce a man? Keep her, keep her for you. Keep her, keep her. And then Muhammad, he received a verse from Allah, speaking to him, Allah saying to him, why, why, why? Why you say to the guy, keep your wife, when Allah revealed to you that she will be in your bed? Have you ever heard of a, such a decent God? And the funny is, now because of Zainab, Zaid's name is mentioned in the holy book of Allah. <laughs> I mean, look at the owner. <laughs> you see, I understand the Quran speak about the Pharaoh. I mean, this is a great king. Musa's great prophet. Adam. Abraham, but Zaid, why? He's just a guy who was married to this woman. Because, brother, Allah, who is very ethical, he informed Prophet Muhammad that he is going to have her. So he said to Muhammad, stop playing games, man. Why you say to the man, keep your wife, when you I revealed to you, I told you, and I you know I told you, take her. Hmm? Behold, though did it set to the one who had received the grace of Allah. What is the grace of Allah? You want to sleep with the wife of your son. And the favor, favor after favor. Hmm. Uh, retain though in the woodlock the wife, and fear Allah. And like, you know, the, the, the translator is trying to use like a professional English translation when the Arabic is so stupid, by the way. I mean, look look nicer in English. Look at this in Arabic. What is <laughs> this? Is the, this is the book of guidance for mankind. The God in Muhammad, why you told the guy, keep your wife, man? Don't you want to have her? Come on, hypocrite. In the morning, you were saying to her, I want you. I want you badly, baby. The husband come to you. You claim that you heard nothing. You know nothing. And you will notice here that the son did not mention to his father my wife, she told me that you did a flirt with her. Anyone knows why he did not say that? Why the guy did not say to his father, my wife told me you are flirting with her because he knew. He's not stupid. They are having an affair together. His wife, she told him that, so he will leave her. That's it. 
I mean, it's a moment to tell you about things we do for a long time. And if he complain, Muhammad will make him disappear. And he will take her anyway. So he said to himself, let me have a safe exit of such a filthy prophet who have a very high ethic and he is the best of mankind. And you know these days look like the best of mankind is the one who go to your house, flirt with your wife and he give you a hug in the morning. And this is why we have a zero Muslim trying to contact us to call us because they knew that this is not a good topic to speak of, of their highly ethical prophet. Not to forget to mention the women he kidnapped, the people he raped, the people who torture to ask them where they hide their money, uh, you know, uh, deception and deceive and lying and st stealing. I mean, the guy is all over the place. But you always, you will hear the Muhammadan saying that Muhammad is the best of mankind in ethic. Very ethical. Even Muhammad, he made a verse in the same chapter. Uh, any woman, she can give herself to the Prophet so he can F her. What does this have to do with God? You see, there is a program, I saw a video once in the Dean Show. And the Dean Show, they said, they have an interview with the Abdul. So they said, how we can prove to the audience that the Prophet of Allah is a Prophet of God? The Abdul, he said, that's very easy. What Prophet Muhammad he got from all of this? Torture, leaving his homeland, he did not seek any kingdom. They offer him to be a king, he refused. Why? <laughs> what king? A prophet is better than a king because now he rules in the name of God. He knew what he's doing. What king? He's a king anyway. <laughs> who can disobey? He made it clear that the one who disobey Muhammad, he disobey God. So the guy in the video, he said, big prophets, they seek things for their own human interest. Prophet Muhammad never did. Muhammad, he seek the best of the booty, the fifth of the booty. It doesn't matter if it's a human or money. Muhammad have a special rules when it's come to his private part. As an example, Muslim can have only four wives. Muhammad have unlimited. Muslim, they have to pay for dowry. Don't worry when they get married. Muhammad don't have to. Muhammad can receive gift women as gift, free women, not only slaves. Muhammad is a very, very decent man. And he was a women supporter. He support women. Let's, let's make it clear, you know. Isn't it him who promised Muslims a lot of sex toys in heaven? He made women sex toys only? I mean, at least, and not only that, he made it clear that those women, they will not even get jealous. He take, he take from them their feeling as a human. They became like a silicon now. This is how ethical, this ethical prophet. In order to make his men go and die for him, but he never go to war, he always hide behind. He promised them a lot of women. For he have a mentality of a pervert. 
See, when God, he created Adam, he gave him Eve. One man, one woman. Why we need, why a man he need all those women. What is the purpose? Was Adam short of his needs? Was Eve unhappy for having one Adam? Muhammad, the ethical man, he destroyed the most foundation, important foundation of family and society, which is family. There's no family in Islam. Sex is a contract called nikah. There is no marriage. There's no love. There's no humanity. There's animal practice. I'm looking at Skype until now we have zero Muslim. And I understand very well why the Muhammadan they will not dare to call. They knew. They knew what kind of a prophet they have. We did not mention Muhammad marrying six years old girl. And actually, I find it very funny. There's a Muslim, he made a comment. Speaking about ethic, and this is why I made this video about ethic. He said, you call Muslim ignorant. No, my friend, you are not ignorant. Because you are very well education, educated. You believe that there is a God. As we speak, he is softening the skin of women for a thousand years each to make them smooth. Look like your God, Allah never heard of something called Vaseline. I mean, what kind of God he need? 1,000 years to smooth the skin of a female. Why? She's an alligator. Can't he make her right away with soft skin? I mean, how in the world those people dare to make their brain bent down to believe in such a garbage? One thousand year. If I message you, will you reply? If you message me in Skype, I will call you, not only I will reply. Message me in Skype, tell me I am etc. person, I'm a Muslim, and I will call you immediately. So all this time we are saying, and the Muslim call us, you will say, if I message you, will reply. You have called me, what's your name? Yeah, there's a person, he called me. Uh, his name is Anouk. Are you Anouk? Are you Anouk, my friend? Well, I don't know, I thought this is a, not a Muslim. Let me call you then. I'm calling you. Answer. <clears throat> He's not answering. Uh, 
ויונתן יעשה לי. Let's say is anook is an available. Text me. And I will call you immediately. All right, and be careful only Muslims, please. We want Muslims. Is it trolling? No problem, we can troll with him. I mean, he is following a trolling prophet. So he have to troll with us. Let us troll together. Let us go back on time, and I am Prophet Muhammad. <clears throat> prophet Muhammad, why you doing no miracle? You are prophet of God, every prophet have miracle. Listen to me, my son. I will show you a miracle which nobody ever does before. Yes, Prophet, tell us, show us what miracle you are going to do. I'm going to eat the whole goat. Give me the first arm. Okay, Prophet, this is the first arm. Give me the second arm. Okay, Prophet, this is the second arm. Give me the third arm. Prophet, the goat have only two arms. <laughs> two shoulders. <laughs> shoulders, actually. <laughs> you want to eat the third shoulder and the fourth shoulder. I mean, this guy is so stupid to the, to the point, he thinks the goat have four shoulders. It's a miracle. Uh, sometime he want to be a Buddhist, a Jewish, I think he is now is a Hindu. No problem. Don't remind me of what I made a mistake once. I was in, you know, doing a speech in India, even though I never been there, but I took my flying carpet and I went there without visa. So I said to the Hindus, do you know that the biggest chapter in the Quran is the cow chapter? Man, oh man, you will not believe what happened. They were converting to Islam like crazy. I will never say that again. Hmm? Uh, Free J, he says, if God made Adam and Eve, why did he create gay love? <laughs> My friend, I want you with your gay love to have a family and have kids. When you do that, let me know. Because love, you know, when you say love, you know, you made me laugh. When you have such a love, the love will bring a fruit. Okay, now you are again, and you have love. Are you going to have a baby soon because of this love? You see, the nature is approving everything to be right or wrong. Is that the nature? Can you have babies? Can you have a family? When I was doing my master degree, you know, uh, you know, many liberals around me. So I told them, if everybody became a gay, the nation would be destroyed and economy would collapse. Why? Because the one who pay for your retirement today is somebody born at least 20 years before. So if everybody have a gay love, as you call it, then the nation will die. <laughs> this is self-destruction. So you can do your love, my friend. This is your understanding of love. This is just a sexual fantasy you have in your head but the nature is a woman and a man ah i never heard of adoption so you want me to do your job <laughs> so you want me to go and have boom boom with the real women and then you come to me and say, Sir, can I borrow the chadra from you? I want to adopt him. <laughs> anyway, potato, this is not our topic. You know, have fun with your love. Enjoy it. All right? Take a hike. 
I am the ignorant. So in order to get a baby, you go to someone is straight. I thought your love is self-sufficient. Anyway, not our topic. Do we have any Muhammadan? Uh, can we get discount in the, uh, you know, the, the, the discount stories is very funny. I mean, Amazon take most of it <laughs> and give me little, and then people, they want to give me discount, they give me discount. You think I'm the one who make the money? <laughs> Do you know how much they take? How do I call you? Are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, my Skype, the admin is posting my Skype. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us? Anyone? Any Muslim would like to call us and show us the ethic of a Prophet Muhammad. He was very ethical. Anyone? My friend, don't ask me questions have nothing to do with our topic. People asking me questions in the chat have nothing to do with our, we have a topic, the ethic. So we, we that's it, we, we change it now? Don't you want to hear a Muslim answering, refuting us? If we are done, so we can say who have a question and then you guys, you can give me questions have nothing to do with the topic if we are done. But for now, Maintain your topic. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? Anyone? You can group. You can call any of those famous ones in YouTube. You know, ambush me. Do you know like Mimi Hijab, he ambush, ambush. Apostate prophet, why they don't ambush me? <laughs> Couldn't be surprise me. Uh, why you don't create a platform saying your books? My friend, just please, for God's sake, ask questions about our topic. Focus with me. Forget about my books now. Do we have any Muhammad that want to show us any good ethic of a Prophet Muhammad? Anything? Anyone? After I finish and we hang up and we go and then you will see the Muslim comment coming like rain. Yeah, and he claimed, no, he did not text me, he called me, and I called him back, he refused to answer. He called himself Anouk. This is the only uh, call I received. I called him, as you see here, no answer. So don't tell me about him anymore. We don't have time for kids. What do you think about Muhammad being the most influential? Well, you know, uh, being influential doesn't mean you are good. As an example, Osama bin Laden, in certain time, he was number one topic in the whole world. You open any TV stations, everybody's speaking about him. His influence is, we have security. Three times more before Osama bin Laden. So here we go, his influence, his guy is dead, they feed him to the fish already, to the tuna. But until now, we have a security check in the airport, we stay for two hours to get in the airplane, our airplane ticket became three times, four times more expensive to cover those security, you know, things and the machines and the people they hire, etc. Just because of his influence. So what influence mean? Hitler have influence.
most influent or influenced person is a joke. However, it's very funny that the most influenced one is Muhammad, but you ask a Muslim, what is the time now? What is the year? What the year is shown in your computer? They will say the year of after the Lord. So who is the most influenced? Even the atheists, even the Buddhists, even the Hindus, even everybody, they go by the year of Jesus. Every single salary in this earth is paid by his name. <clears throat> if there is any verse in the Quran says is holy, no, the word holy in Quran actually mentioned only a few times. Uh, you know, the word holy, as holy, like there is a word uh, uh, in Arabic, which is a clear, clear, clear use for holiness, which is Quds or Muqaddas. If you ask a Muslim, what is the name of the city of Jerusalem? They will say to you, Quds. Quds is the extreme holiness. And here we ask ourselves, why the Quds is not Mecca? Even the Quran, when he speak about the extreme holiness, we speak about the Jews. We speak specifically about Jerusalem and how Allah he ordered Moses to enter the Holy Land which Allah he assigned to them. So this is the, the, the clear Arabic word of holiness mentioned in the Quran. There's other words of holy. But it's not the same as the word this is the word is stolen from the Christian, the word that we mentioned to you in chapter 5, verse number 21. In chapter 19, verse number 19, you will see every Muslim giving you different translation for the word Zakiya. Here you see the word pure. So Jesus is pure. But the pure is holiness. Even when they try to fix it, to try to make it like repair it, so they add pure. But isn't it God is the only one who is pure? All of us, we are not pure. There's nobody is pure. Jesus is pure. First of all, he is not the fruit of sexual relationship. And that make him extreme pure. Secondly, he never commits sin. Even the hadith confirmed that. And the Muslims are confused between using this word, holy, and the other word. Okay, we have this guy, Fakir, is trying to call. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Christian friends? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Welcome. Okay, so how are you doing? Um, very fine. So what do you think about our topic, your prophet ethic? Um, what do you think? How, first of all, you describe the prophet, then I'll do it. I mean, you are listening to me for the last hour, and you are telling me what I say? Dude. Did you hear me? Is, Did you hear me speaking for the yeah. last hour, showing you all the stories about your prophet? And now you are asking me what I what say you? So what I was talking about all this time? And so what you, have, so you were talking about the Zad problem, right? All problems. Doesn't Zad. matter. What okay, what do you think of somebody he come to your house and he flirt with your wife when you're when you are not there? He he's, let us say he's your friend, not your father. What do you think of brother, him? Brother, brother, brother. Mm -hmm. Wait a second, wait a second. Here's something, here's something really weird that I'm about, I'm about to tell you. Hmm. Um, the book you are reading with, 
the book you are reading mm-hmm. that most Muslims accept is fabricated. It's what? All of these, all, it's fabricated. You know, oh, all okay. of why, these okay. stories. Okay. okay, hold on. So why the Muslim, they will fabricate yeah. such a story about their prophet? Tell me, go ahead. I'm, I'm listening. They will, they will. You think that all of the people are angels? You think, okay, are, tell are me. You an angel? Example, let's are you an angel? No, I'm not an angel. I'm a sinner. Okay. I'm not a good Muslim. So accept... all people are angels. They are not then. Okay, no, so I'm now, saying, why, you are, I, asking, why yeah. you are asking a question about something written in your book for 1400 years and none of the Muslims say this is not true? Dude. I am not saying that the Zad problem did not happen. It happened, but there are fabrications. And like you are reading from the Sahih al-Bukhari, right? No, I'm reading are from you... uh, the Quran. No, no, I'm not from that. The narration you did. The okay. narration you does the Quran does the happened. does the Quran say why you are mm-hmm. telling the guy keep your wife when Allah He told you to have her is that Quran or this is not Quran this is fabrication are you aware of the Zad problem are you aware of what happened in the Zad problem just tell me do you know uh, are you aware the, of what okay answer a few questions did the Prophet adopt Zed and did the Prophet did he adopt then just answer yes or no did the Prophet peace be upon him adopt Zed this, this is what the same book you deny to be true saying. No, yeah. Dude. Dude. This Okay, where you got I this story asked, from? Where you got this story from that Zaid was adopted by the Prophet from the same book we are reading from? Yes, no. The Quran What do you mean Quran no? Tells, what do you mean no? Okay, show me. Okay, where you got the story of Zaid being adopted? It's the Quran. The Quran, the if Quran, you read says, all the ayahs. Okay, in the Quran, okay, show me the verse in the Quran says that Zaid was adopted. Zaid was adopted. Wait a second, I'm gonna have to research on that. But okay. the thing is, does the Quran say that Zaid was adopted? Have you read the ayahs? I never saw the, the name of Zaid in the Quran appear once. Does it appear twice? It did appear once. Wait a second. Okay, so how you are saying Zaid is in the Quran twice? Because this is Zaid, the story here about Zaid. So when Zaid he finished doing boom boom to her, take her, you know. Okay, hey, wait a second, wait a second, Christian mm-hmm. Prince. Do you really think? Do you really think that anyone would mm-hmm. tell others about what they did to their wife last night? What yeah. do you, do you think that, for example, would you describe as, for example, if someone had an intercourse with somebody else, and do you think that they would go ahead to tell the other person? That they had an intercourse. Do you think that they'll, that'll happen? Well, Will they, you do that? Yeah, obviously they did because your prophet has zero ethic. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. I am asking you okay. a question. Okay. I don't want you to counter, counter question me. Hmm. Let's say, I don't know if you're married or not, sir, but let's say, hmm. for the minute, okay, let's calm down. For the moment, let's say you had an intercourse last night. Will you go around telling How everybody you know? else that How what you know, I. by the way? I am supposing a situation. Oh, I'm okay. Because I thought I thought I thought you have a camera. You are watching. Um, okay, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm not watching. No, oh, okay. The thing, I'm just asking. I'm asking, uh-huh. I'm asking you a question. Mm-hmm. Will you tell anybody about that? Well, if I am, if I want to, if I want to humiliate you, I will. If I disrespect you and I want to torture what you, you really? yeah. Okay, you tell no, no, me. What, you tell me. You tell me. Listen, wait listen, a listen, 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 listen. Why you are saying this is not right, right? So this is not ethical. We agree, but this is the whole point. We are speaking about Muhammad and the followers of Muhammad not being ethical. Why the wife she tell the father, the husband, and she liken it that your father was here and he flirted with me. Why she did not say to him, "Shame on your father, I'm your wife." Fabricate. Huh? Fabrication. Dude, okay. I told you. I've why told the Muslims? The, why the Muslims who they be, believe in Muhammad as the best of mankind? Don't you believe in that? So why yeah, the Muslims they publish this and they print this and teach this in all universities of Islamic universities? If this is fabricated, it's fake. Yeah, all of them are going on the wrong way. You know. So you are the sets? only person. You are the yeah. only person who you know the truth, but you were not there. Dude. I don't think that you are well aware of the Muslims you're trying to argue with. The genre, you know, 
if I had followed the Sunni book, the book you're reading from, mm. by listening to your speeches, I would have converted to Christian a long time ago. But are you Shia you or Sunni? Think that's, I'm Shia. You are Shia. Okay, what about the Shia? What, yeah. what the Shia had to say about this? I can show you right now a video of Shia saying that Aisha, she was a whore. Aisha, she was a whore. Yeah. Now that's going to be fake. And she Dude. was sleeping around. That's just still in the Shia. I have told you already. Not all Shia sources are. Oh, so now all... okay. So we go from the Sunni. The Sunni are bad. Now we go to the Shia or a Shia. Oh, not all Shia are good. So let me. So are you against the Quran? The Quran says that Aisha uh, and uh, okay. Hold on, hold on. Do you do you know a little bit of Arabic? Can you translate, please? I don't know Arabic. You do not know Arabic. Maybe I uh, uh, Do you know the word Khanat? Khan? No. Can you tell me the meaning? Mean betray. Betray. Okay. Okay. So, so what, is, what is the ayat? Uh, the chapter, as an example, chapter 8, verse number 27, use the word Tahunu. Khanu. Hmm. Chapter 8, verse number 71. Yep. So, in chapter, in chapter 66, verse number 10, it says that the wives of the prophets, and he named them specifically as Noah and Lut, both they betray their husband. Mm. Do you agree with that? Yes. You agree? If the Quran says then yes, if the All Quran right. says then yes. Okay. They must but have. isn't it the Quran says bad women marry bad men as a destiny, and good men marry good women as destiny from Allah? Yes, they do. Okay, that's mean the prophet of Allah are bad men. Because if bad women, they will marry only no, bad no, men. Read the ayah, read the ayah again. It says, I'm reading it, I'm reading women. it. Here we go, here we go. Women. A chapter, go, a chapter 24, verse number 26 says, Bad women is for bad men, good women for good men. Yep. Okay, so it's not going to happen. That Allah He made a decision, He will marry bad women to bad men. He will marry good men to good women and good women to good men. Now you're a prophet. No, he did not say that he did not say that he himself will marry. No, this is a destiny, my friend. This is a destiny. You are a Shia. We can open the Shia interpretation and you will see it yourself. Don't play games with me. Already you said you are a Shia. Okay. We can open the Shia explanation and you will see it says it clearly. That Allah designate and make, made a destiny that bad women they will marry bad men. What Shia? What, what do, do you know any uh, uh, translation made by Shia? So I can put it in the screen. Dude, I'm not saying. Wait a second. Let me open the eye myself. Oh. I'm begging. Chrome. <laughs> Give me a minute. All right. Okay, I have opened it. Oh. What translation you like me to put okay. for you on the screen? What translation you you like? No, I I would like for you to answer a few questions. Hmm. Does Allah mention that He Himself will marry good men, good women, and yes, good men? Yes, yes, it's in front of you. Yeah, I am reading the ayah. Evil word? No, evil words? No, it's a wrong. Okay. Women impure are for men impure, and men impure are for women impure. Okay, so what does that mean? And women of purity are. It okay. means what, what that, that the mean? impure women, yeah. impure women will uh. always be attracted and be with impure men, mm -hmm. and pure women and pure men will always be together. Mm -hmm. Where does it say that Allah Himself okay. will come? Can and we open? Can we open the Shia interpretation for this? Go uh. ahead. Okay, what what Shia interpretation would you like me to put for you on the screen? Okay, wait a second. Let me come to the stream. Wait a second. Hello, are you here? Um, no, I am here. You are there. 
Yeah, I think the going to the stream kind of eliminates the factor, but yeah. Okay. So do you do you like Majma al Bayan fi tafsir al Quran? This is Shia. Okay, can you read it out for me? I can't access the stream right now. Okay. I will pause the link. Okay, send me the link on Skype. If you can. <clears throat> So we go 24, uh, 26 in front of you. I'm putting it. Here we go. And this is your Shia Tafsir. I mean, this will make you dizzy to read. But anyway, here it says, uh, bad women for bad women, uh, bad men for bad women, and bad women for mm -hmm. bad men, good women for good yep. women, good, good men, good for good women, and good ah, women good for men. good men, good. okay? And yep. uh, yeah, here it says, uh, the example of this, Allah, he says, This is the explanation. Let us go to this verse. A person who do fornication, hold, hold on. A person who do fornication, he marry only a woman who do fornication. It's a destiny. Hmm. Hmm. Read it. Let us read. I can't so see fornicators. Okay. I mean, I'm showing you the explanation. Chapter 24, verse number 3, it says, that a fornicator, marry a fornicator, pagan, marry a pagan, and no marry, marry many, no one marry her except a pagan or adulterer. Yeah. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So good women marry good men. Do we agree now? Yeah. Okay. So what does yeah. that mean? If a man he marry good women, she is going to stay mm -hmm. a good woman forever. If you marry a fornicator, no. you must be a fornicator. For Allah, He made a destiny Wait. that fornicators marry for fornicators, pagan marry from pagan, good ones is the yeah. Muslim women marry from good Muslim men. Correct? Yeah. Okay. So, but you're a prophet, and you are a Shia. You accuse Aisha to be a whore, and we mentioned the verse. What? Wait, 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 you wait, wait, wait. Aisha. You wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait. hold on. Let me let's finish my, my okay. thought and you can answer. When the Quran okay, okay. when the Quran okay. said that Aisha and uh, uh, Hafsa they made a party against Muhammad and Sagat Aymanahum, they became inclined in their heart and they became kuffar. And I can show you right now the Islamic interpretation for this. This is about Aisha and Hafsa specifically. So now, the wives of Muhammad, the, Quran? the wives wait, of wait, Muhammad, wait, wait. yes, in the front of you, chapter 66, verse number four. Read it. Okay, chapter 66, verse number four. Yeah. Okay, so what are you saying? I got the words. Okay, so those two women, what they are doing, are they being good or bad? Um, if two wives repent to Allah, it is best for your hearts have deviated. But if you cooperate against them, then indeed Allah is his protector. And okay, this is the worst. So okay. are they good or me, bad? Those women, are they, are they good or bad? They may be good. Yeah. They are good? Depends. Don't tell me the band. Okay. It says here you have to repent. Do you say somebody? Do you say to somebody repent if he is doing good or he is doing bad? No, 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 no. Wait a second. In other chapters of the Quran, it says that humans will always make a mistake. If your this is not the question. Now. Good man. This, okay. Do Muhammad make no, mistakes? No. Do Muhammad make mistakes? No, no mistakes. You just said you, you, you just said the human always do mistakes. He is. A, do you think he's a human? 
Prophet peace be upon him. He's a human. He's not really. He's not a human. No, he's not. A... Oh, I know oh, the Shia. Okay, Shia he they is. believe. Shia they believe that Muhammad and his family they were lights in the forehead of Allah. Correct. Yeah. Okay, and then Allah He sent those lights to this earth, so they have a form of a human, but they are not a human. Correct. There's a difference between having a form of a human and like okay, so, being human. So do you agree with me or not? They have yes, a form of a, the form they have a form of a human, but they aren't a human, correct? Yeah. Okay. Do Muhammad have many women he sleep with and they are a really human or they are not really human? They are human. Okay. How how somebody is not a human and he's light, sleeping with someone, she is a human. Well, they're both souls. What do you expect? If he is a human, he is designed to be a human, then of course he's going to do human but things. But you just said he's not a human. I don't mean like he's an angel. He is in a form of a human. He's in a form of a human. So is, does that make him a real human or he's a fake human? All of us. We are all spiritual beings stuck in a physical body. Okay. If you want so to put it a, like he's that. A light from, he's a light from Allah. Like if we go to the Quran where it says, that Muhammad, he was Siraj and Mudiyan. The Shia, they say, the Siraj is Muhammad and his family, and they name Fatima too. Correct? Can you repeat that? The Quran says that Muhammad, they explain chapter 33, verse number 46, Shia explanation, that this is about Muhammad. He is a light for the world. He is a Siraj. He is a light. He is not yeah. made from a, he's not yeah. a human. He is a light. Okay. Now, Muhammad, he yeah. was in the forehead of Allah. Do we agree? And you agreed already about that, right? Muhammad was in the forehead of Allah. No, why would I agree to that? Where you are a Shia. The Shia the believe in that. Allah? Wait, wait, wait. Forehead of Allah? What is that even supposed to mean? He was the forehead of Allah? Where did Aren't he you say a that? Shia? Anyway. Are, aren't you a Shia? Well, some parts of Christian, uh, some parts of Christianity reject the Trinity. Okay. Aren't are, you a Christian? Are, are, you, from, are you from the 12? Sect? From the twelve, yeah. What is your sect? The what? The Shia. What is your sect as a Shia? Ithna I'm a Shia. I follow. Yeah, what well, is many the sect Shia, in the Shia. I follow, I follow the Ahlul Bayt, and that's it. Exactly. You me so, Shia, but you agree with me? You just said that Ali and Allah and Muhammad and Fatima, etc., Hassan al Hussein, they used to be the mm -hmm. light, correct? What do you mean by light? Elaborate no, light. you do not what know do what light. light. You you said to me that they are in a form of a human, but they are a human. They are light. You agreed already. They are souls, yes. Huh? What do you mean light? What kind, dude? Did you did light you just here? say just three minutes ago? It's recorded. I asked you, are they made of light? They are not a human like us. You said yes, and now you're asking me what do you mean light? Bro, you just. I only heard. Okay. Let's calm down for a second. The Prophet, peace be upon him, and the five pure were made from the first day. They have been here since the creation of Gabriel. They have been here since the first day. What, they, they, are made from what? they are made from what? Light. Are they light? I don't know. Allah knows best. Allah has so what you said to me, a, a, me a few minutes ago, you said to me, yes, they are light. I made a mistake. But, I can accept but that. But all the Shia I believe. Since, so what kind of Shia you are? All Shia I believe that Muhammad and his family, they are made of light. Dude, you, just... You can open you right now. Life? Okay, what, what interpretation you like to read about this verse? Any Shia interpretation will say to you, it's in front of you, chapter 33, verse 46. They always say that Muhammad and his family are made of light. Okay, it's a Quran. Just can you elaborate light? Because since you have the screen, is there anything written about light? They are made of no. Yeah, it says exactly. he is. It says he is a lamp. Okay. He is a lamp. I get it. I get so, it. so the Shia they say the word lamp describing Muhammad for he is light. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's accept what you're saying. Now go forward. What are you? No, don't accept do what I'm saying. It? This is your what you're saying. This is your Shia. Okay. Okay. Just tell me. Okay. What? So now the ethical Muhammad who is made of light. He has yeah. fights with his wives. Is that because he's a good or he's bad? A fight where? Well, Muhammad, he had sex with a slave. The wife, she came to the house. She found him having sex with the slave. She said to him, mm -hmm. in my bed, in my room, in my day, Muhammad, 
was he being a good person or he is a bad person when Muhammad he ordered men to beat their wife was he a person with good ethic or bad ethic when Muhammad he when had he... sex with the child her name is Aisha is he an ethical light or a bad light if you if you really uh, except me as Shia, you will realize soon enough that Aisha was not a child when she was married to Prophet, peace be upon him. Well, give me the age of Aisha, no, Aisha. according to the Shia. Then. 15 or 16. 16? Yeah. But the Shia agreed that he when Muhammad, he died, when Muhammad, he died, Aisha, she was 18. And she lived with Muhammad nine years. The, according to the sources I've read, she was this 16 is your Shia. years old, well over... <laughs> What kind of Shia are you? You do not know your books? I do know my own books. I do know my own beliefs. Okay, so he was well can you give me can you give me a solid re uh, reference from the Shia? As long as you are a Shia, telling me that I, she, she was sixteen when she uh, when she married Muhammad. Hey, wait a second. I'll give you a reference. For you. Just give me two minutes. All right. And wait a second. Um, I can make it easier for you. What is the age of uh, of Fatima when she got married? Was she nine years old? Age of Fatima. Yeah. You tell me. What is what is it according she to? Was she was nine years culture? old. She was nine years old. Wait, wasn't she like between nine and twenty-one? She was nine between nine and twenty-one. I mean, this is like this is a, <laughs> between nine and twenty-nine and twenty-one. That's a good one. I'm literally telling you. When your what prophet is, dies, what what was the age of, uh, of of Fatima when Muhammad died? Wait a second, let me see. She was between eighteen or twenty-seven. What? She was well over. I, I guess. Yeah, if I remember correctly, she was well over 24, 20. No, she died at twenty-eight. Yes. If I remember, yeah, 28. Okay. Yeah. Do you have now do you have reference for that? I'll have to search for references. Give me a, if you give me some time, I'll give you the references. Okay. How many years after your prophet uh, he died? She died. How many years after what? After your prophet died, she died. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Wait a second, I'll see. Oh, I don't know. Can you tell me? You know, it's, I'm trying to help you so we can get the answer to see if she married as a child or not. No, she didn't. Okay, do you have reference to prove it? Okay, I have to search for references because. The well, uh, all what jumps. I know, uh, this is the first time I see Google somebody. Chrome. Hold on, this is the first time I see a Shia denying that Fatima, when she got married, she was nine years old. No, she. Have, have you argued with Shias before? 
Well, not many Shia, they call me, but I argue with Shia. Yeah, they have a debate with the Shias, a uh, big sheikh from Michigan. Go watch it. He was uh, freaking out talking to me. That's nice. Okay. Is this as, is this as logical as uh, Matthew 2639? Uh, here we go. I want to switch now to Matthew. So what was the yeah. age of Aisha? Oh, sorry, of uh, Fatima? When she died, she was about 28 years old. When she got married, she was about 18 or 21. It, between 9 or 21, like the... Do you, have, do you have reference? Give me a reference, just give me a minute. Are you against marrying children until you find reference? Depends if the person is. Yeah, okay. I am against. What do you I think? Still, okay, well, let, let's make it simple. What do you think of Al Khomeini? Is he a good scholar for the Muslims uh, Shia or not? Al Khomeini never heard of him. I'll have to. You never heard of Al Khomeini? No, I am Pakistani. I have only follow the okay. scholars I have mm -hmm. near me. All right. All right. This is your Shia website. Question and answer. I will use Google Translation. And I will give you the link. According to the most known, Fatima al Zahra. Amruha, 18 years old when she died. And when she got married from Amir al Mu'minin Ali, she was mm -hmm. nine or ten. And this is a translation. Okay, what was this is the translation. Here we go. According to the most well known, which means the most agreed about, upon, uh, she died at the age of 18. And the funny you said 29 and she had given birth to five or six children before she was killed by the muslim sunni yeah and she was old uh, she was nine years old when she got married and how old was hazrat ali huh how old was amir al mu'minin when he married uh, we're not talking about him now we are talking about her so she died at the age of 18. She got married oh, at the age of 9 oh. or 10. She got married at the age of 9 or 10. And she died in the age of 18. So you Muslim Shia, you added more than 12 years to her age to make her... Is, but you, to, you told me she married, she was 21. Dude, dude, you told dude. me she was married when she was 21. 21, she was dead. Dude, even in the Shia sect, there are different books telling that she was 9, 10, okay. 11, 12. So can we agree now? Them. Can we agree, me and you now, that your Muslims are a bunch of liars? You keep lying about your prophet and his family. If you're talking about Sunnis and Shia, I'll agree to that. Okay. So how we can trust you that you are not lying to me right now? If you just say it, we Shia, we Sunni, we keep lying. All our books is a fraud. So how we can learn about Islam? Who is the true Muhammad? Then maybe all the stories you are coming with in your books, both of you. Uh -huh. It's a fabrication. The same. Dude, if I tell do you know the difference between lying and deceiving, Mr. Prince? It's the same. Lying is deceiving. Deceiving is lying. When you lie, mm. the lie is a hundred percent fake. But when you deceive, the deceiving is the mixture of truth and a lie. You uh, some truth, so you did your lie, prophet mix some the, uh, did your prophet he is, is what he, your prophet he did? As an example. If I ask you right now, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? What do you say to me? You will say to me Muhammad that he said he believed in the God of Abraham? Here we go. The God of Abraham is a true God. It's written in the, written in the Quran. Okay, what, what is the proof that Muhammad is a prophet? It's written in the Quran. That's proof enough. 
but, 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 but you just told me we Muslim we lie about our books even your Shia no. you don't agree with the Quran you say uh, the Quran your Shia I, I you say the true Quran your Shia you say the true Quran is the Quran with Fatima which is taken by Al Mahdi and Al Mahdi will come back one day and no, he will bring the Quran. No, 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 no. That's absolutely fake. Do you that have the Quran of Fatima? Do you have Quran of Fatima? No, I don't because it doesn't exist. So, That's the so the Shia Quran lying. we have. So the Shia are lying yeah. when they say Quran of Fatima? Yeah, extremists. There is a difference between Shia and extremists. Okay, I will make it simple. Let us you know go to something in the Quran. Because wherever I go, you will say to me they are lying, they are lying. Okay, we got it. You Muslims you lie. What do you think about the Quran teaching us to beat women? Is that a good ethic? It depends on situations. Is Wait, that a good ethic? Can I... the, the, the ben, did you beat your wife before? Well, I am 15 years old. If I had a wife, then maybe not. At hmm. that, if you read the entire, is no, your, I is your, is, do your dad beat your mom? Can you just give me? Can you just give me two minutes? I'll be right back. Just two minutes. I have some work to do. My mother's calling me. Okay. Please. All right. Sorry for this. Just two minutes. I mean, wherever we go, they will say to us, "They are lying." Here we go. This, this solve the problem. You see how easy. So what the conclusion now? We cannot trust any Muslim, including the Muslim is talking to us because they agree that Muslim they lie, they lie about their religion. I agree. I never met a Muslim who don't lie about his religion. So how they, how this is, can be a religion from God, preserved by God, when all the books are a bunch of lies? And how old he was? He said, he said he is fifteen or fifty. How I can trust your age too now? Maybe you are lying to make yourself look sound sound like you are, you know, maybe you are young, so I don't know what you are talking about. Once I was debating a sheikh in Pal Talk, he told me he needed to go to the bathroom. Excuse me. This was almost maybe 17, 18 years ago. Since then he never come back. Okay, I am back. Are you here? All right. Why you don't bring your dad to join us? My dad? Well, I'd love to, but he's not here. He's not here. Okay. So you are saying to me, you like to be to beat your wife, but depend. Depend in what? Back in the Arab days, divorce. I forget so about easy. back in the old days. Back in the old days, nowadays, doesn't matter. Quran is for all time, isn't it? Yep, it is. Okay, so now the Quran says in chapter 4, verse number 34, beat your women. So, Quran, verse number, chapter 4, verse number? 34, says beat your wife. 34, okay. 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 So if you have a wife, and you told her to make some tea for you, but she did not do it right away, do you like to beat her or you don't like to do so? If I remember correctly, I heard, I read an ayah in the Quran that if your wives rebel against you, then you shall beat them. All right. Now, okay, let's say your wife, she said, I'm not going to make tea for you. Yeah. You can beat her, right? No, no, not at all. That's, do you think that's a valid reason? Do you think that's rebellion? Yeah, rebellion. She's not okay, making tell tea me what rebellion means. What rebellion means? She, she is a voting Democrat against a Republican. What rebellion mean? Explain to me. Go ahead. Let's say... Let's say, for example, that she is uh, planting conspiracies against her own husband. She's spreading false information about her own husband. She's uh -huh. doing all these sort of things that will damage his reputation, that will do things that basically she's lying. So let us say she's your wife, she posts in, in Facebook that my husband, he is a cheap. Do you beat her for saying that? It depends. Oh, the band. <laughs> okay. When the last time you saw your dad beating your mother? I don't think so. I've ever seen my dad beating my mother. Why? It's not the band? Are you telling me the truth now or are you lying? She, your mother, she never... She's... 
Uh-huh. She has never done anything like that. I'm not lying. I'm, she's never done anything like okay, that. Okay, so your mother is always obedient, so she don't deserve to be beaten. But if if she did rebellion, or your dad, he can beat her, right? I'm gonna say the same word again and again. It depends. Okay, so what she what does what let us say do? your mom she did something is not ethical according to Islam. Do you support your father beating your mother? Beating is the last resort. If you can seek a divorce, then that's that should be the last. In the, the Quran, if you read the beating is the last, la, lastest option. Where it says the last. Divorce. Show me, show me in the verse where it says the last. Do you know the position of the word? Does the word start with beat your wives? Does the word start with beat your wives? You, but it's up to you. You know, the hadith says no man should be asked for why he is beating his wife. Doesn't matter. It's up to you. You can admonish. You can beat. It's up to you to, to take any of them. That's does it say no, first? Does it say second? Wrong. Does it say third? No. Take a look at the ayah. Okay. The let us say. Let us say. Word. Okay. Let us say you have your daughter. Uh, your daughter, she want to put makeup and go out in the street. Mm. Do you? Are you willing to beat her for that? I'm not going to beat her for that. Why? Never. Why? Because that's her choice. If she refuses to I do that, I thought she had no choice. I thought if she is rebellion, we beat them. That's not rebellion against the husband. That's their own choice. If they want to wear hijab, then the, that they are open. We're so not you are saying to me, them. if the wife she's spreading rumors against her husband, we beat her. If the wife she take hijab out and she walk no, in the street without hijab, is okay. I am saying, if, for example, divorce. If divorce is possible, then they should take the divorce. If not, then you know, beating the wife should be an option. Okay, so now after, no after you beat your wife, what will happen next? Do you tell me? I don't know. What do you is, think? Is, will is, is she going to be a better person after you beat her? Do you think she will behave now? Have you ever, you know, the thing is, she may be, yes? Maybe. If I beat you, she are you going to behave? To... If I beat you up, are you going yeah. to behave? Yep, I am. So I like, you know, so, so now you are, for me, you are not behaving now. So you are saying to me, I should beat you, so you behave. I'm going to say the same word. Do you, did your parents ever beat you? You are not answering. Do I beat you because you are not behaving? Mm -hmm. Is that a solution? Yes, it can be. If okay. it's the last resort, if I if I have not listened to you many times, if I instead, if you guided me and I started to, All right. you know, rebel. Okay, I'm going to guide you right now. I asked you to convert to Christianity. And based on your answer, you will receive beating or not. This is what you are saying to me. So if you say, no, I'm not going to accept, you are being rebellion. So now I have the right to beat you. That, are, you my, are you my father? Or what does this have to do with the father? Time? You are not my wife. Are you a female? What do you think? Maybe. I don't know. Do you think I'm a female? I mean, if, whatever you, you said to me, you keep saying to me, maybe, 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 and they are lying. The books are lying. Everybody is lying. Okay, listen. You spoke about women marriage. When we show you your reference, your Islamic books, you deny them. Does the Quran speak of divorcing children? Before what? Does the Quran speak of divorcing children? Divorcing children? Yeah. I know what I ask you are going to code. Go ahead. Okay. Go do your thing. Tell me. It's in the front if of you, you chapter 65, it. verse number four. You said to me that the books speaking of the child marriage are fabricated. You said to me that uh, Fatima, she was 21. Aisha, she was uh, maybe 30. But the Quran is speaking about that if a person were to divorce a child, after he divorced the no, child no, wife. The child, wait a where does no? It's isn't it doesn't say the waiting period. Those of your women who have lost all expectation of menstruation shall be three months. If a woman loses menstruation for three months, then okay. That, but women who have but but female who never have their menstruation because they are too young. That's excluded in this. Okay, exactly. Three, why, why, so so now female, so now hold no. on. Look 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 what happened now. So now you you deny that the Quran teach you to. Have sex with the children. You deny the hadith. You deny. You say those are lying, right? 
But okay, now we have wait wait, now wait, we wait, have a Quran. No, 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 wait, wait, no, 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 wait a second, wait a second. It's it mentions three months. Do you think the child who has never had a period ever is three months old? My Why friend, did the Quran mention friend, three months? Because then? the Quran is a stupid book. Why you want to wait three months anyway? For a woman, she appeared or not? One oh, period is enough. Bro, bro. What no, wrong wrong? You, if a woman she have a period, talking, if a woman she have a period, about... why I need to wait a three month? And now read with me. This is your Islamic interpretation. Have... Hold on. Listen. Let us see. Uh, chapter 65 verse number 4 it says uh, you know what I can show you Ibn Abbas you are a Shia uh, the Shia they worship Ibn Abbas let's go to Ibn Abbas this is from we the what? family of your prophet Ibn Abbas is okay, from the family of your prophet this is Ibn Abbas tafsir. it says here and what about waiting period for those who have, do not have menstruation because of they are too young? Do you see it? Okay, let me listen to me. I'm gonna. I have already read the verse now. <laughs> do you know how to read Arabic? No, I do not. Pull up the verse again. I'm I'm okay. from Pakistan. The word used. Okay, thank you. The worst verse refers to the waiting period until, if you know the Arabic, the word idda. Idda is used, which means women, who are by definition what, what the word, so what, what is the word is? What does the word mean? Idda, yeah, meaning mean, women. Idda mean, Idda Idda, is used Idda for, mean women. Idda, Idda is used for divorced women. Uh, uh, Idda mean women, you say it? Yeah. Who Idda is, the, is used for who, women. Who is the donkey he told you that? I am reading an interpretation right now. You said Idda, the word Idda mean women. Yeah, I mean, what I'm saying to you, who is the donkey? He told you that. It does mean the count. It does mean the count. I am an Arab. So you want to teach me Arabic now? It does mean the counts. So the count is a three month. This is what it does mean. The period they wait is a idda. You made the word idda the women, and you made the word women the month. Okay, does it? So does listen, it listen, listen. Read with me. Word? Read with me. It says here. What about the waiting period of those who do not have menstruation because they are too young? This is Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, you Muslim Shia, you worship him. We worship Ibn Abbas. Who yeah, told you that? he is from the Which family donk? of Muhammad. You, don't you say you believe, you, you believe in Ahlul Bayt? We do, yes. Okay, this is guy from the Ahlul Bayt. Is the cousin of Muhammad? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. he is saying because they are too young, this is why they don't have their period. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll so, accept that. So do you agree? So now you accept that. Thank you very much. So is it ethical to have sex with the children? No, it is not. But you just you accept children, that. No. You just said you accept that. You are divorcing them now. So when you marry them, when they are infant. That wouldn't be applicable in the real world, wouldn't it? Well, this is the real world. This is your Muslim. This is your practice, and this is your God. So, are you saying to me, your God, He gave you something not from the real world? He's talking about divorce. This is the chapter of the divorce. The name of the chapter is divorce. So now we are talking about divorcing females, and one of the case of divorcing is divorcing the childrens who they never have their period because they are too young, not young, too young. Yes. Okay. Does the Quran? Now what? what okay. it, uh, Al Khomeini. He Wait is a, a Shia like you. He is the founder of the Islamic government of Iran, the founder of Hezbollah. He said in his book Tahrir al Wasila that you can have sexual molestation with a child even if she is an infant. No, no. If what if I show it to you in the I don't screen? Care. No, no. I don't care who he is. I don't care if he is the governor of the world. Okay, just, are you are you, you saying to me? Are you saying to me? Are you saying to me? You know, you know more than the highest scholar of Shia in this century. I'm saying I do not know more than the Quran. If, if it's written in the Quran, go ahead, marry. Well, in the okay. Quran in front of you, it's Quran answer. saying the Quran. The Quran saying there's no limit of the age. The it says too young. No, no. 
Why didn't have their period? Why? They are too young. Does the Quran give me a verse that says uh, you are allowed to marry children? Give it's me your a fault that you, a we are like talking that? about divorcing them. So you, you must have you divorce them before you marry them. No, that's that's the case. At that time, what if let's say some parts of the world, someone married a child and then they knew it was not legal and halal, and that's the thing that's written here. What's a regal halal? Yes, <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, this is this is Al Khomeini. Let me show the book in front of everybody. The Wasila, as Sayyid Al Khomeini, volume number two, page number two four one, and here. Problem number 12, it says it is not allowed to do intercourse before the age of nine. You like this one? Does it say, in the, does it, say it in the Quran? No, this is the guy, Al Khomeini, the big sheikh, Al Khomeini saying it's not allowed for a, for a Shia to have intercourse with a female before the age of nine. Do you agree mm. with that? Is that fine? It's written there. Okay. okay. So now what it says, really go with it? but he said, but all kind of joy, sexual joy, like touch with desire, hugs, and putting your private part between her thigh is okay, even if she is an infant. No, that's, that's literally just made up. No. I don't know. Well, here we that. go. This is your Shia library. Everybody is my witness. This is Shia library. Here we go. I will put this in, in the top. Shia online library. Tahrirul Wasila, Sayyid al Khomeini, part number two, yeah. page number 241. Let me zoom in so you can see in case you are blind. Do you see it? Now we go down here. Problem number 12. It says here, it is not permissible for, to have intercourse with the wife before she completes nine years old, which means she is a wife now. So you marry her before that age. But before that age, you don't do intercourse. You do you do all kind of a play. So whether the marriage is permanent or not, because Muslim Shia, they have muta. And now we will go to the muta as long as we speak about ethic. Whether the marriage is permanent or not, as for other pleasures, such as touching with desire, embracing and thining hmm, their thing, nothing wrong with it, even if the female is an infant. No, no, no. If the Quran does, but there's, okay. My friend, I'm giving you, I'm giving you, I'm giving you your books. I'm giving, listen, listen, that's what, look what you are doing. Look, listen, listen, I, I understand, understand that you claim that to be, you are young. So I will go with your age. So I'm giving you books. You give me speeches. I show you Ibn Abbas, Abbas, you give me speeches. I show you Atahir Wasira, you give me speeches. I show you the Quran, you give me speeches. And you give me your own interpretation. So does it say in the front of you, you know even what? even if the female, even if the female is an infant, does it say that or I'm making things up? Does the Quran say that? Yes or no? Well, are you Muslim Shia following the Quran or following your own propaganda? I'm following, I'm following the Quran. This is the Shia. The, he, is he, is this guy, your sheikh, following the Quran or following who? Dude, it's not really important and it's not necessary that the okay. guy who wrote this listen has i will to give you one last chance you shia you practice muta wait a second what no we don't you don't so are you against the quran That's prostitution huh does the Quran encourage uh, muta? Oh, you do not know. So you are a Shia. You never heard that Shia do muta. That's a good one. Are you practicing yeah, taqiyya? Are you practicing taqiyya with me? You know the the your 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 highest imam. He says that the taqiyya is the 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 shield of the Shia. Hmm. You know what does that mean, right? It's mean to lie is the shield of Shia. And I can show you the, the hadith. 
of very authentic. So the shield of Islam, of the Shia Islam, is lying in Taqiyya. Now, you are saying to me that in the Quran, nowhere it says that you can have muta. But all Shia in the world, we have tons of videos on YouTube, Shia scholars speaking about muta, saying it's a wonderful, the Prophet, he never forbid it. Quran, this is Quran, chapter 4, verse 24. So you are saying to me that now you never heard that Shia, they practice muta. No, I have heard of it, but the thing is, where I'm from, the Shia, they reject muta. No, it's not legal. Is it's it not up, halal. Is it up to you to reject what it's is in the Quran? It's in the Quran. It does the Quran mention muta? Yeah, the word muta is in Arabic. From a stem ta to be he. Here we go. Give me the, give me As long as you speak Arabic, you were teaching me what idda mean, and you said it's mean women. So let us read together. Hey, give me the ayah. From a stem ta to be he. I am giving you the ayah, chapter four, verse twenty-four. From a stem ta to be he mean hinna. Hmm. Hmm. So stem ta to. This is muta. Stem ta muta muta. You see the muta? Here we go. Muta. So because you enjoy it, be he, which is the vagina of them, you have to pay them wages. So the Shia and the Sunni, they've been given an order in the Quran to practice muta marriage. Can you explain to the people who they are listening what muta marriage is? Are you on chapter Surah Nisa, uh, verse, chapter 4, verse number 23? 24. 24, okay, let me pull up 24. There is somebody next to you doing muta What is that sound? Okay, so let me read the translation. Hmm. And also prohibited to you are all married women, except hmm. those that your right hands possess. The decree hmm. of Allah upon you and lawful to you are all others beyond these, Provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, designing chastity, mm. not unlawful sexual intercourse. So mm. for whatever you enjoy of marriage from them, mm. give them their due compensation as an obligation. Mm. And there is no blame upon you for what you mutually agree to beyond mm. the obligation. So where does it mention the muta? Okay, here we go. See, you, are, you keep denying. Every Shia knows that the muta is in the Quran. And suddenly now you don't, you never heard of it. So this is alislam.org. And they are explaining, me, where, listen, and they are explaining chapter 4, verse 24, point of view, alislam.org. So those of them, women, whom you enjoy, give them their appointed wages. Let us continue. It says here, uh, the Shia, what, what are you? hold on, read, read carefully with me. This is the Shia now. We are talking about the Shia. The Shia. Wait a second, I'm not Hadith no, I mean, concerning right, no, really. all the branches, all the branches of Shia in the word, the word muta is employed in the heading of the sections of temper and temporary marriage. They continue here saying, you will see here it says that muta is a kind of rental. In some work, Special term applied to women who participate in muta. What are you even reading? Pull up Sahih International and just tell me what are you reading? I'm reading your, your the, the I'm reading your website. Explaining explaining the muta chapter four verse twenty four. Stop lying. Pull up the Sahih. Every Stop okay. Look, I, I want to do this with you. I have, can you I have, okay? Hold yeah. on, hold on. Can you give me a book? Explain the chapter chapter four verse twenty four. Accepted by the Shia, I will put it in the screen, and whatever the book says, I will accept. Is that fair, people? You give me a name of a book, Shia Tafsir, for chapter 4, verse 24. Can you, can you just read the translation of the Our friend, ayat again? Let's make it short. Can you give me one Shia book? Just one. One Shia book of your choice for chapter 4, verse 24. I will put it in the screen and in front of everybody. Whatever your Shia book, the one you give me, explanation for verse chapter 4, verse 24, I will put in the screen, and I'm not going to discuss with you no more. I will read exactly what it says there. Do you accept the challenge? Wait a second, let me see. Hmm. Okay, 
okay, I can't find any Shia books that provide. Okay, I know that you will say that. Guys, he cannot find any Shia book. That said, there's no Shia books. He never heard of them. Well, this is Ibn Abbas. Marrying women to an agreed period of time. Zawaj al Muta in front of you. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet, and you Shia worship him. So it says here. We do, we do. Stop saying that we're worshiping. No, you we worship don't. him. That's you Allah. worship Muhammad. You say he's from the light of Allah. You agreed with that. He is a light. He's not a human. No, no. We don't worship. Do you, do you Shia? Yeah, yeah. Do you Shia eat the dirt? The dirt where Ali or Al Hassan they die. Is that true? We eat no. What if I show you the videos the dirt, right now? No. That. That's a diff there's a difference between the actions of people and then the actions of somebody else. If I show no, you a video of a Christian of the, this is your Shia. I mean, you, so why you Shia do that and why you scholar don't say this is wrong? They have even guards Modern to thing. guard the dirt around the sure. graves because the Shia keep eating the dirt. They put dirt, they take it. They get the dirt, they eat it. That's extreme. That's so now this is extreme. Okay, now let us read. Does it say there? That you Shia, you seek for with your money marrying women for an agreed agreed period of time. Zawaj al muta. Okay, just can you do me a favor? Read the verse. Is it ethical? The... Is it ethical to give a woman money and tell her I want to sleep with you for three hours? That's prostitution. No. That's prostitution. Okay, is prostitution haram in Islam? Yep. What if I show you a verse in the Quran says no, it's okay. Show it to me, then I'll change my opinion. Just show me a word. What will happen if you change your allowed. opinion? You will change, you will leave Islam or what? I'll I'll just change my opinion. No, I'm asking you. That. Is is okay. a prostitution is allowed in Islam or not? If Islam allowing prostitution, is it bad religion, bad ethic, or good ethic? Show me the words already. If you show me I'll chapter, my opinion the same on that. chapter. Chapter 24, verse number 33. It says, Force not your, your women to do prostitution if they desire chastity. But if not, it's okay. Wait a second. Let me... Wait a second. I'm not on your stream right now. That's why I have to research versus by myself individually. Remember, you are the one who said that muta is a form of prostitution. Did your prophet practice it? Did he? Did he? I do not know. Can you tell? What do you mean you do not know? Is your dad there? Why you don't call no, him? No, he's not. Who is there? Who is there to help you? If there's a sheikh, no, you can I'm call him. Sick. Okay, who is the sheikh in the mosque you go to? Why you don't call him right now to join us? Wait a second. No, no, why you don't call a sheikh? I'm serious. Okay, I am now interested in Christianity. Okay, no problem. You win this okay. argument. Uh, can you call okay. a sheikh for me right now so join, he can join us? You do not need to come to your house, you can just join us in Skype. Just join us in Skype. Uh, where I live, there are no Shia sheikhs. Where I live, you know, what do you mean? Uh, you are in the internet, go find somebody in the internet. What do you mean? Where you live? No. Huh? Okay, what about this? What about this? Next time you call me, listen. Next time you call me, you bring a Shia sheikh with you. What do you think? Find somebody. I can't, dude. Okay. Can you? Okay. I am I accept my defeat. My lack of knowledge is not clearly not enough in front no, of your No, it's not research. about... Okay, I, I'm I, not here to defeat you, my friend. I'm here to show you the truth. What defeat? Oh, we, are, we, are, we are not fighting. So I'm asking you now, okay. is it true? Okay. Is it true what I showed you on the screen or I'm making things up as those are my websites? You have, you have. What you have showed is correct in your own way, but clearly there's a difference. No, 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 no. You see, you are playing with the words. You are just being a deceiver now. Correct in my own not way. What does that mean? Is that your website or my website? Correct in my own way. I'm, I'm not saying what you have said is your research and it has to be correct and there has to be a deeper meaning to this instead of when Ibn Abbas, when Ibn Abbas, he said, "This is about marrying women for a period of time. You pay hey, them wages. Is he lying? 
Does the Quran reject prostitution? Yes or no? No, the Quran agree with prostitution. Here we go, chapter 33. I just showed you the verse. What's wrong with you? The okay, Quran says, the Quran says, if you force, don't force them to do prostitution. If they desire to do to be chaste, if they desire, which means if they don't desire, it's okay. And if you force them, it's okay too. Allah is all merciful. Wait a second. And look at the false translation every Muslim give you. The word prostitution is gone from the verse. They just took it off. <laughs> you have to change the translation. Here we go. And force not your maids to prostitution if they desire chastity. In order that okay. you make gain, which means money, in this life. But if any okay. one of you compels them to prostitution then after such a complosion Allah is forgiving the most merciful between two bracket those women well, what do you mean forgiving the women but they did not do anything wrong you are the one who forced them so now we have a condition if they disagree to do prostitution you are good to go if they disagree still you can force them and there's no penalty for Muslim doing that Allah okay. is all merciful. Okay, so what's the point you're trying to make here? Let's get to the point. The, the point you is your prophet is a very bad ethic man. He is up, he's a pimp. He's teaching Muslim to be pimps. You can open a, you can open a pimp house now, legally, officially. Then why is uh, intercourse before marriage made haram if he is trying to be a pimp? Not with a slave. You can have sex with a slave without before marriage. Just are slaves. No, no. What do you mean? No, no. Was, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. The Quran says the same chapter. You can even have sex with women who they are married if they are slaves. Don't you know? Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you can have sex with them. Chapter four, verse number twenty-four says it's forbidden okay, for okay. you. Listen, not, listen. I am. It's forbidden for you. Married women, except those who they are your right hand possess. So you Muslims, you have a very good ethic. You go and sleep with women. She is married, but to a slave. So what do you do? You sleep with her. If she is a slave and she agrees, and sure. What do you mean she agrees? What it says she agrees. It says no. You see, if a Muslim man, he he is horny. He can have sex with all women except married one unless they are slaves so you are saying to me now slave women she agreed that you would have sex with her when she is married wait a second i'm pulling up the eye out. okay okay just go man just go i give you more time than you deserve next time get get your shake to call me all right get me something someone he can uh, he can be you know i mean practice taqiyya better than you Man, oh man, let us see this guy, another guy. Hello? Hello? Must be a uh, hang up. All right. I mean, do you see the, you know, this is the ethical religion. You can rent women. You can rent women. And that, look, look, it says this is their definition. Imagine this is their website. This is the ethical religion. Special term, in, in some work, special term is applied for to women who participate in muta, musta'jara. Musta'jara mean rented or rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental. It's kind of what? It's a kind of rental. 
because in general, a man basic aim in this kind of marriage, they call it marriage, can you believe it? Is a sexual enjoyment of a woman. So what is the purpose of this marriage? <laughs> to F the women, excuse my language. And then in return of this enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money or property. But this is a prostitution. So the ethical Muhammad, he legalized prostitution, even for a free woman. Slave women, they force them. Free women, they can do it by choice. You want to get paid? Take off your pants. You see a woman in the elevator, you say to her, hey, how much you charge me for 10 minutes? Even the Sunni, they practice this, by the way. But the Sunni, they give a different name. There's a video of Mimi Hijab, if you remember. And Mimi Hijab was speaking about that Muslim Sunni, the Salafi ones, they practice, you know, one five-minute marriage. I'm not exaggerating. He's, he's the one who said that. Oh, this guy is calling me now. Just go, man. I give you two hours, you know, you don't deserve it. This is Mimi Hijab. Explain how the Muslim Sunni, they practice the same as the Shia. The difference is, they give a different name. That you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. Your selfies are always accused marriage and divorce. Did you hear it? How many? How long? This is the Sunni. Those are the Sunni Muslim. They marry women for two minutes, three minutes, four minutes. This is not Christian Prince saying the two minutes. This is your Mimi. All you're happy to do, you and your friends, yeah, is acquiesce to the fact that you guys are going around, yeah, marrying people for two minutes and three minutes and five minutes and one hour, two hours, whatever it may be. <laughs> one hour, maybe. The maximum he got in this video is one hour. And why you are complaining? Aren't they doing it according to Allah teaching? So those Muslims, they smear each other. They attack each other. But the truth is, this is Islam. When this filthy guy, I quoted his prophet to his filthy women who called me. She said that Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. This coward, he made a video saying, Christian Prince, sexual predator. Why? Because I was quoting his filthy prophet who said to her, suck on me. Is it ethical to order women to do suckling for adult? But this is Islam. So this cult is extremely hypocrite. They do everything against God teaching, but they claim to be people of God. They do everything, have zero ethic, and they, they claim that it is the top of ethic. They claim that non-Muslims are najis. What najis mean? Filthy. when their prophet is the one who takes shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. And then he claim when people, they question his madness, obviously he's mental. 
which means you know people will not ask him why you are doing this unless you are mentally ill and look at this Muhammad here Allah messenger said if a man and a woman agreed to have muta not married the, the, the word marriage they added later it's not exist their marriage should last three night if they like to continue they can continue is that what Musa taught is that what Jesus taught is that what Abraham taught how this cult claim to be following Abrahamic belief zero ethic so if we try to summarize I'm not going to mention everything the thief the, the, the guy he is proud about taking a two sandals imagine Muhammad the prophet of Allah he took sandals of a Jewish man they killed sandals do you see how low he is a sandal this is the king of the Muhammadan grabbing a sandal of a dead man and he took his donkey and then not to forget the miracle that this donkey his name is Yafur and the prophet he asked him do you like females and the donkey he was from San Francisco he said no I don't like females so the ethical prophet even when he speak to his donkey he asked him about sex I mean imagine yourself the first time speaking to an animal let us say if that is possible God gave him that ability no problem the first question you asked your donkey do you like sex do you like females I mean what kind of a question this question is Imagine I see a cat. First time I am able to communicate with the cat in her language. And by the way, Muslims, he spoke like a donkey Muhammad or the donkey spoke Arabic. And then he said to him, do you like females? And this is in the book of Ibn Kathir. So the ethical prophet, and the Muslim, by the way, they said to you, Christian Prince, why you talk about sex a lot? Well, this is your prophet. I'm quoting your prophet. And he asked the donkey, do you like female? And the donkey like, oh, 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 no, I don't like females. What the heck, surprise. Why a fool? A female, she broke your heart? And then the story continue that the donkey, when the prophet, he died, commit suicide. He went to an empty well of water and he jumped him inside and he killed himself. And the clean prophet who have a lot of ethic, he taught us not only not to be ethically clean, he taught us how to be filthy, dirty. And this is their books. And the funny is, when we show them what is written in their books, their books, they were holy books for centuries. Nobody dared to touch them. But now, because it's an embarrassment, all the laundry is out. Before nobody dared to question the stupidity of this man. Now, the easiest way to get out of this, we say, oh, this is a Safasa story. But there it says Sahih. Look, look, in Arabic, here it says Sahih. Sahih. Those who do not know how to find reference after we finish, my friend, always you can freeze the video, type certain line in Google, type it exactly as you see it in the screen, you will find the reference.
All right. So like if you want to find this hadith as an example here, and there's no link in your hand, so you want to find it. All what you need to do, just type a few words. Like here you can say, which was a well into which menstrual clothes, dead dogs, and stinking things were throwing. Type this line in Google, you will find the hate right away. It's called Misyar. No, there's many hadith. There's many uh, marriage in Islam. There's uh, Urfi, there's Misyar, there's a wajib friend. There's, uh, 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 there's many. If you read my book, Sex on Allah, you will find there's tons of them. And they, are, they add more. Like as an example, if you are, there is trouble marriage. So a person, he want to go and study, let us say, in Ukraine, a Muslim. So what he do is allowed to marry a Ukrainian woman, Muslim or not Muslim, until he finish his course. When he's done, he say bye-bye. I married you during the time I'm studying here. I'm here for six months. This is called trouble marriage. A person going to stay for a week, let us say he's going from Saudi Arabia to, uh, to Indonesia. He want to stay there for two weeks. And their logic is to avoid him being tempted, he will marry a woman for two weeks. It's called travel marriage. There's other marriage called the wage of friend. What the wage of friend is? You have a friend, but you don't want to get married, but you want to have sex. So we don't want to have a boyfriend, girlfriend thing. So what we do? We marry and we meet once a week or once a while for sex in the hotel. No obligation, no family, no really marriage. It's just sex. It's called the wage of rent. Friend would benefit. They call it zawaj, which means marriage. They have offices for it. They have sites for it. Zawaj a friend. <laughs> like, do you like to be my, my friend wife? You know, we don't have a really marriage. It just, so if they get us busted, we are married. We go to the hotel, we do boom, boom. You go home, I go home. Marriage. So what Muhammad, he did, he changed the name of every evil where he have zero ethic. So fornication became marriage. Prostitution became marriage. Theft became booty. Cheating became a truth. Lying became a way and a shield of God. And women giving themselves to the Prophet because they love Allah. Have you ever heard of somebody sent by God? His God, he says, any woman she want to offer herself to the Prophet so he can F her? I mean, this man already have tons of women in his bedroom. He come with the idea how I can make warm women come to my bed. Chapter 33, verse number 50. And look, Allah, what he told them. All those women, all those kind of women are lawful for you, brother. Oh, prophet, we had made lawful for you, your wives. Don't you think you are too late? I mean, the guy is having sex with them for the last century, and now you are telling him, I made lawful for you, your wives? That is the news. And the one you paid their dowers, and the one you don't pay their dowers, and the young, and those two slaves, you can rape all the slaves you have. They are assigned to you, assigned, brother. And the daughter of your partner uncle, 
and aunts and the daughter of your maternal uncle and aunts and who registered, uh, migrated from Mecca. All the women came from Mecca, we can have them. And any believing women who dedicate her soul. You see, it's a soul, the Texan, somebody called Sadhguru. The scam of Sadhguru. Detect yourself to me. Relax, relax. We are going to practice yoga. If you feel being touched somewhere, don't think that it's me. It is the ultimate power of a spirit touching you. Close your eyes. So the prophet, if he wishes to F her, you see the translation saying here, to marry her. In Arabic it says, to F her. And this is only a privilege to thee. Only. Only to thee a privilege. Do you see how much ethical he is? Why well, you guys are laughing? I mean, the guy, his name is Sad Guru. He spent the day teaching us about how to accept each other. Why? Why we don't accept each other? The problem of mankind that always we reject each other and we don't accept each other. So if somebody speak negative against you, what do you do? You go war in him? Learn. Learn that you can receive and he can receive. And then I made a video about him. Looking at him, he reported me to YouTube in less than 15 minutes. So he spent the day teaching people about how to accept each other and the coward, he filed a complaint to YouTube of copyright. And now we understand why his name is said, Guru. You know, so all those scam, you know, they do the same. They speak of them themselves, they are so good, but in reality they practice the opposite. This guy, he speak about how the poor can be live happy, but look, go and see where his children are. Go and see what, what kind of villa he live in. How you can be poor like a tree in the, in the field and the grass around you, you have nothing, you own nothing, you have no roof, but still you can be happy. Thank you, Krishna. And then we go to his house, we find the big villas, the most expensive cars. The guy, he fly in a very expensive airplanes. He don't take a seat like us. But he want to school you about how to be poor. Do you know the, the movie is called The Love Guru, even we change our topic? <laughs> what remember The Love Guru? The Love Guru is a comedy movie, right? But it's an example of the scam. How they play with the mind of the weak. You know, there's people, they have weak mind. And when you are weak in mind, everybody can play with you. And there's many, they want to take advantage of the fool. The weak-minded and when you have a vacuum inside you there's many many people who want to take advantage and fill that vacuum so what is a solution a guru who live in a villa have a fancy life, and then he school you about how to live happily without money. I think I want to be guru very soon. Indian sand guru, why there's a Japanese one too? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think the gurus are exist everywhere, especially if they have a cross eyes. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? And you know, this is how actually you see, like when I went in, in Asia, I saw many of those white European, uh, they became the followers of Guru. If you ask yourself why those people, I mean, why you why, why you don't see African doing that? Why you don't see Asian doing that? The majority is foreigners coming from Europe because they are empty, they are lost. So anybody can tickle their brain with some kind of words and philosophy. They are driven to it. So now let us do yoga and self. Focus. Actually, we are sick of self focus. The whole world is self focus. People are homeless because we are self focus. We have war, people killing people because we are self focus, because everybody is greedy. We do not want more greedy people. This yoga is not really something good. I agree with the sport, any kind of a sport. But this yoga is evil. It's teaching you how to focus on yourself, how to be selfish. And the rest is just a fiction. If you want to see really people, how happy they are, the one who follow the philosophy of yoga, go and live in their country and see how desperate they are to leave. Go and see the sadness on their faces. Those European, they are totally lost. Any new idea, just to bring them an idea, anything. Speak about philosophy, speak about supernatural power. I Once I was walking, going to my house, and there's a guy, he is holding a sign in the top of his head. Every day I see him. And the sign have a son, 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 you know, son. And he's wearing like them, you know, he's holding the sun. So I said, who is that? You know, he says, this is God energy. Actually, in my last trip, somebody was driving the car, taking me to a place. And he said he believed in happy energy. He believed in energy, good energy. I said to him, good energy can kill you. He did not understand in the beginning. So I explained to him again. I said, isn't it electricity good energy? But if you use it in the wrong manual, if you don't look at the manual, the same good energy can kill you. Don't worship energy. You are just a foolish man, person, who do that. So I told him, Good energy can kill you, yet it's good energy because you are following the wrong manual. So God, he gave us energy not to be worshipped, but to live. And if you try to understand, without the manual of the maker of such an energy, you will destroy yourself. And this is what we have now. We have nukes. Any time, any second, few bunch idiots control the world. They can go in a nuke weapon war. The whole earth will be burned. Energy is not what we seek. We seek God. We seek the truth, we seek peace, we seek love, we seek ethic. You follow energy, you will get it, and you will die with it. 
So I say to the Muslims, your prophet, he have energy for everything in the bedroom. Even when he go and do jihad, it was energy for sex. He said to the Muslim, go, let us attack the Roman so we can get the blonde girls. What kind of energy? What kind of ethic? Even when he go to his own son to visit him, he flirt with the wife. The Muhammadan, they claim that Islam is a way of life. I say to you, my friend, Islam is a way of death. For Islam make you addicted to your lust, to evil, to do what is not right, yet you give it good title so you feel happy and you kill your guilt. Having sex with the children cannot be from God. Even animals don't do it. But what you do, you call it marriage to justify your evil. Beating women because they are weaker than you. What do you do? You are teaching them ethic to justify your act. You marry one and second and third and fourth. And what do you do? You say, Allah, allow me. But the question why one is not enough? What is missing? And why you want to have more? Are you a goat? You say, God, allow me. And are you enough with four? No. We divorce the four. We get more four. As long as we have money, Allah, allow me. So Muhammad destroy the single cell of life, which is families, the family value. He destroyed the honesty of the children. He became, made them sex object. He destroyed security of the world. He made the whole world is a field of war and slavery. Not to forget to mention how he insulted the black people, how he claimed that God created them to go to hell. Zero ethic, racist. And even when the Muslim, they speak about how pretty Muhammad is. They don't speak about how pretty his ethic. They speak about him as the white man. There's a video on YouTube called The Description of the Messenger of Allah. And the man, he start crying when he speak about how a man, he went in the middle of the night and he look at the moon and he look at the prophet and he look at the moon and he look at the prophet and he look at the moon and look at the prophet. And each time he look, he says, who is more handsome? Conclusion, Muhammad is the most handsome. And yet they claim that Islam is not racist. Islam don't care for how you look like. But the second you speak about Muhammad, they describe for you his belly bomb, how white his underarms is, how white his face is. If you search right now in YouTube and see the descendant of the prophet, you will see how blonde they are extremely blonde you ask yourself what's wrong with this religion what will happen if the descendant of the prophet they were not white is that a bad effect Look at the descendant of Prophet Muhammad.
This is the last thing we will show you before we go for today. Look at this. A bunch of dread neck. Those are the descendants of Prophet Muhammad. And I guarantee you, none of them have to do anything with Muhammad. It's just another scam. But they will not accept you to be a descendant from the Prophet, truly descendant, unless you are blonde. And then every scammer, he claimed that he is descended from Muhammad. That's Saddam Hussein, al kazafi the king of Morocco, the king of Jordan. I mean, everybody in order to control the crowd and to fool them. And the funny is, what a shameful to be descendant from Muhammad. I would prefer to disappear from this earth. To claim such a thing for this is not an honor this is disgusting I mean even the Sultan of Pronai he claimed that he descended from Muhammad what the guy have to do with the Pronai even the Queen of England they claimed that she descended from Prophet Muhammad <laughs> I mean who's left who is left? Queen of Islam. Elizabeth, related to Prophet Muhammad, brother. <laughs> oh boy. What a scam religion. What a scam. Look, look at this guy. He descended to Prophet Muhammad. What happened to him? Are you okay, buddy? Makeup, lipstick. What? The face of the descendant of a Prophet Muhammad PPUH. Sure, he have to be so white. Are you kidding me? He can't be African. That will be attack on Islam. Anyway, I hope today we have a good time and let us make it 20,000 very soon so we can go live again. Share the link with your friends, leave your comment and don't forget not to support us by at least making a comment. At least, you know, people are so cheap. So cheap. Even a comment is costly for them. So I want to say thank you all everybody and remember what the Lord he said from their fruits you shall know them not from their faces not from their looks we don't care we as a Christian we shall not care if the person is African or Asian or white We care for one thing, the fruits, my friend, the fruits and the fruits of Muhammad is so clear, evil like him, ugly like him. People who worship a look or a color they are racist to the bone and they will die with their racism people who they are looking for good life the good God they don't see color they look for the fruits If God, he sent me a prophet, he is a black. What's a problem?
if God he sent me a prophet he's an Asian what is the problem there will be only a problem if I am a person who care for the look and the color you will not find single verse in the Bible describing how the Lord look like not a single line is speaking about his color not only the Bible says with him which means the Messiah there's no Greek there's no Hebrew there's no free there's no slave for all is one We don't talk about the look of Jesus because we are not worshiping a look. God, he said, he created Adam in his image. He did not say he created Adam as white or black or Asian. He said, Adam, and in Christianity, we believe that all of us, we are the children of Adam. So with the Christ, you are united. We are one. And we cannot be a racist. I will judge your fruits. I'm not judging you. I'm not God. I judge the fruits. From their fruits, you shall know them. Somebody saying, but you are looking for numbers. Well, obviously, some people here are weird. I'm the last one to look for numbers. I'm looking for more viewers so more people will learn. Do you think I'm here to just sit and talk, waste my time? You are looking for numbers. And let me, you know what? As long as I'm looking for numbers, according to you, I want to make it less numbers. So I'm going to block you. You are not welcome here. When I say share, let more people see because it's hurt to see people watching a video. Candies around the world, they have 335,000 views in one day. And they are speaking about what? Candies. Here we are trying to save the life of people. And what do you do? You complain because we are asking you to share. So we do the fight. We risk our life. We get death threat every day. And you complain because we are asking you to bring more viewers. And as you see, my videos, they don't make money. Do you see you can make money advertising? No. I don't even keep my videos. But the lazy you don't even want to do anything. The same way many they call themselves Christians they want God to do everything for them God he died for us God he came for us God he provide us God they, but, but they don't want to do anything they are like a sucking worm the worm who suck the blood and they never have enough of it and the second you ask them to do something they complain They want free books, free time. You call you, come back online, stay here. But they don't want to do anything. This is why Matthew said, you shall know them from their fruits. A true Christian, he will not be sharing my video because he is doing me a favor. He will be sharing the video because he agreed. Because he want to give a fruits.
They want to have everything for free. What an evil, greedy human being. You know, when God, he gave Adam heaven, heaven, he gave all the heaven. He said, don't come to this tree. <laughs> he wanted a tree. I mean, I gave you all the heaven. Go, go do whatever you wish. All the heaven is yours. He wanted the tree. Greedy. Selfish. They want to be God. Yesterday, actually, I met two old couple. And we have a very nice conversation with them. They told me, which church you go to? I said, I don't go really to churches. They said, why? I don't agree with them. The first time, second time I go, I will be arguing with the minister of the church. And why I argue? Why I don't like what they do? Because they don't serve God. The first 20 minutes of their sermon speaking about collecting money. The last 30 minutes is about collecting money. But you are a man of God who came to do service for free. Why you are worried so much about money? Why your money is number one in your service? Those are the same as Muhammad. When they ask Muhammad why a woman she will be married, like what is the choice of a woman to be married? He said a woman she will be married for one of those, her wealth, her beauty, or her position. He never mentioned love. This is why you marry a woman. Her wealth, number one. She's rich. Her beauty, number two. You want to enjoy yourself having fun with the pretty women. And her position, she's from a powerful family, maybe. He will get a higher in rank of society, but he never mentioned love. We as a Christian in our relation with Jesus is based on love, not on money. Christ is not a business. And instead of buying big screen for your church, what about you send the money for the poor children who they are dying in Africa? The poor children who they are sleeping under bridges in Philippines. Why we need big screen TV in a church? Jesus never had one. So I disagree with them. But still I encourage people to go to churches, for there you meet the good ones, and that is the treasure. You will meet good ones like you, not necessarily the priest. The Lord, he says, be aware of false teachers. They come to you in a clothes of a sheep, but they are wolves. And there is too many wolves in a clothes of a sheep. And I want you always to remember what the Bible says, that from their fruits, the one who speaks to you too much about supporting the poor, but he live in a big fancy villa. He take a salary for his job as a priest. Why you have a salary? Well, he need to make living. Well, aren't you a believer? God will provide. There's people who will give. When you demand a salary, you are demanding a salary. That's mean you are doing a job like everybody. It's a job. A man of God 
who claim to be a priest, I am not a priest. And I don't want to be, I don't fit to be. When he demand a salary, he put conditions, I want health insurance, I want salary, etc. I want housing, I want etc. I want etc. And even when they make a speech somewhere, they have to get paid. They get paid even for a funeral like Muhammad. Even in death, they charge you. So Christianity, my friend, is not a priest. The priests, they don't present Jesus. There's many of them, they use Jesus. So you have to be vigilant. You have to be careful. You have to be smart. We follow Christ, and we should not ever follow a man. The one who follow a man, he will end dead with the man. And all of us, all of us, we can be tempted. If you ask me, do you like to have a big villa? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Why do you want to stay in this tiny house if I can get a big villa? Why do you want to be in a small tiny car if I can get a nice fancy one? Why not? All of us. That is the nature of a human being. So don't put your trust in a man. If a man he claimed to be working like Paul or like Peter or like John, well, they should live the same as they live. They used to make tents to live, make living. And if somebody make a donation to them, it's a donation, it's a gift, but they don't seek, they don't work for it. They don't put condition. I will not save your son unless you do. Pay me. So my friends, always when you speak about Islam, ask the Muslim one question. What was the fruits of your prophet when he taught you to beat your wife? What is the fruit of that action? Your wife, she will love you. She will hate you. She will be a better person. Or you are going to damage her physically, mentally, spiritually. What is the accomplishment? What is the fruit of allowing having sexual relationship with the children? A child should live as a child. And this is why you see many of those Muslim who did not live their childhood when they go to different countries, have some freedom, they act weird because they've never been children. They've never been allowed to be children. It's like somebody who always wanted to have a nice, fancy sport car. He wanted to dress nice clothes, but he could not do that when he was a teenage. So when he became 70, now he can afford it. So suddenly he's driving open Corvette. And his wife, she is 80, she is wearing short skirt as if she is 17. Because they could not live their life when they were teenage. They are teenage again. When God, he created us, he made us to live in stages. The child should live as a child. Otherwise, he will be child later. And he will be in trouble for being a child later. The adult should be an adult and act like one when he is adult. The old, the very old should act like a very old. Otherwise, he will be a teenage again. Every stage in life is exists for a reason, and every stage in life have a fruits. 
And your fruit when you are older should be even way better from your fruits when you were younger, even though people think the opposite. Because now the inner inside you is cooked with wisdom, mixed with experience, lived a long life, you learned a lot. So now you should know how you can make better fruits. Fruits, my friend. And those are fruits, you cannot eat them. But you can live with them. And if you want to compare between the devil and God, you can compare between Muhammad and Jesus. For the fruit of Muhammad is a fruit of a devil. And the fruit of Jesus is the fruit of God. Did you ask yourself why we Christian are debating with Muslims if Jesus is God or not? Yet we are debating with them if Muhammad is a scam or not. Child molester or not. Criminal, killer, thief, fornicator or not. So we are debating about Jesus if he is God or not for he is so good. And we are debating about Muhammad, how bad he is, or he's so bad. The fruit, my friends, is the fruit of God. So the Lord, he said, be holy like your father, even though we are not, even though maybe the mission is impossible to be holy, but it's a project to work in so he can give better fruits. The requirement to be with Jesus is very high. The requirement to be with Muhammad is very low. For his law. Say Shahada, get 72 women, have sex. With Jesus, the story is 180 degree, the opposite. The qualification is so high. For he is the high Lord. He wants to have the best of you. He is merciful. He is forgiving. He is loving. But in the day of judgment, he will be judged by your fruits. I want to say thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we will see you soon again. And I hope you guys, you will share the videos with your friends, download them before we take them down, as you know. And uh, there is a female lady, actually, Muslim, sorry. Uh, she's asking why Jesus is, can be God. Maybe the coming video, I will, I, will, uh, I will talk about it. And if she would like to call us, I will be happy to have her. But I want to say to her, I guess today we answer some of your question about how Jesus can be God, for He's holy, He's perfect. Right now, as we speak, He's in heaven, even for you as a Muslim. Jesus in your Quran can create from the dead, can, can resurrect people from the dead. Who can do that? Save God. He forgives sin. The Quran says, who can do that? Save God. Jesus can make the blind see, not by giving medicine. Jesus can create from the mother bird, the Quran say. Who can do that save God? Even according to your book, Jesus is the creator. And you are asking me why you believe that Jesus is God? In fact, none of what Jesus can do, your God can do. Can Allah resurrect anyone? Show me. Prove it. Muhammad, his children, they die one after one. And they're still dead. Jesus, he resurrected many. The Bible says that there's no book, no book can write all the miracles of Jesus. No pages can be enough. So when we speak in the Bible, we say, Jesus, he did this. He made the blind see. He made, he healed the leper. He did this and that. We are not describing really. 
what Jesus did. Because if I describe what he did in details, there's no book can describe the miracles of Jesus. You know, each time I see somebody says to me, he believes in Islam. I ask myself, how in the world any human being he can accept such a thing. A person who has zero miracle. The Quran witness for that. When the simple a question always, why we want to follow somebody, he himself could not prove anything. To be at least from God. If we go to the book of John, John, the disciple, described for us how we can describe Jesus' miracles. Who can describe it? He said in John 21, 25, and there's also many other things which Jesus did, the which if they should be written, everyone, I suppose that even the word itself could not contain the books that should be written. That is Jesus, my friend. And this is why those disciples, they were willing to die for him, not to kill, not to get women, not to get virgins. They used to feed them to animals, crucify them upside down. Why? Because they saw an amazing person where there's no books can fit, even if the whole world is a page to write in it is not going to fit for the miracles of Jesus. Thousands and thousands used to go after him and all they were healed just for attending the presence of Jesus. While Muhammad, he was himself sick and he died sick. He died in vain. like Buddha, by poison. How we can leave someone like the Messiah and follow someone like Muhammad, who he tried to replace the Messiah by calling himself Muhammad, which means the praised one. This is the whole purpose of Muhammad. And actually, I believe somehow Muhammad is just a same person we mentioned about him before. He called himself a prophet, Manu. You will see that the stories of Muhammad always they match with the story of Manu. That person, he tried to copy Jesus. He tried to be like Jesus. So we pray that all of you will be in good health and wealth. We pray that all of you will see the truth, will share the truth. We pray that the Muslims, they will open their heart and they will receive the truth of Christ. And they will not be under the influence of sexual promises. God is not a pimp and he will not promise you to be a pimp. When we say from their fruit you shall know them, well, God gift is his fruits. So if God gift to you is a lot of women to have sex with them, that means this God is a pimp. His name is Satan. 
what I expect from Satan. To tell me you will be holy in my house? You will be like an angel? They will say to me, you will have sex and stop. A lot of women, little boys, jewelries, gold, silver, you will wear silk. A river of wine. This is the Quran. If you don't believe me, check it out. This is the promise of the God of the Quran. When they ask Jesus, this woman, she will be the wife of who? When she go to heaven. He said he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. We don't have the same heaven. For the heaven of God is a holy place. And if God cannot make me happy in his heaven way more than my sexual joy, how he can be God anyway? The God who can create a joy, he can create always a better joy, fit with his house. So we will have a way better joy in the kingdom of the Lord. Have nothing to do with food, nothing to do with sex, nothing to do with money. He will free us from our needs. And that is the biggest gift. Imagine if you go, you do not need food to live. You do not need drink to survive. You do not need medicine to be healthy. Isn't it this is the ultimate gift? I'm sufficient. I don't need. In Islam, you are a slave of needs. You are more needy from the way you used to be before. You are more addicted to sex than the way before, to money, to gold, to silver, to wine. And the funny is that the Quran says that the wine is the maid of the devil, yet we have rivers of wine in heaven of Allah. With Jesus, my friend, you are free. With Muhammad, you are a slave. And that will lead us to the last point. When the Quran make a mockery of the Christians, could not understand why the Christians and the Jews, they say, we are the children of God. Muhammad, he don't want you to believe in such a thing. The Christians and the Jews, they said, we are the children of God. Say, why then he punish you with your sin? This is Satan. This is Satan. He don't want you to believe that you are a child of God. He wants you to deny him. He don't want you to appreciate his care to you. A child of God does not mean that God, he gave birth to me for he have sex with my mother. Stupid Muhammad. A child of God mean a person who receive a gift of God. He received the Holy Spirit. He received the guidance. He received the promise. And he appreciated the Lord. So Muhammad don't want you to appreciate the Lord. He wants you to be a slave of Allah. Not a child of God. And actually the Quran say clearly, Allah created mankind and genie for one reason. Just to worship him. This is not what the Bible says. In the Bible, we are children of God. God wanted to share his glory, his kingdom with us, for he loves us. The God of Islam is evil. He created you just to be a slave. And Allah saying, I created not the jinn and the human, except they should worship me. That is the purpose. That is the devil. God do not need worshipers. He's not lonely. 
This is why Muhammad, he said, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. And he will replace you with nation who commit sin and ask for forgiveness. The God of Islam is evil. He wants you to commit sin, so you beg for forgiveness. The God of the Christians, he wants you not to commit sin, so you don't ask for forgiveness. He wants you to be healthy, not to be sick. Allah wants you to be sick and beg for health. So we have totally the opposite belief. Totally the opposite. And when Muhammad, when he say things, it shows us how stupid he is. Because if Allah is God, and he will destroy us if we don't commit sin. So what is the story of Noah is about? You see the stupidity? When he say that if you don't commit sin, he will destroy you. Is it the reason we are punished because we commit sin? According to Muhammad, it's the opposite. If you don't commit sin, this evil God, he will destroy you and replace you, which means this evil God is evil. He will not destroy you because you are being bad. He destroy you because you are being good. And that is exactly what the devil want. He's saying them be bad. Just offer forgiveness. The message of Allah said, by the one in whose hand my soul is, were you not to commit sin, Allah would replace you with people who would commit sin and seek forgiveness. That is telling you the whole story. Allah is the devil. And to be a follower of Allah, you need to do as more as sin as you can. Otherwise, you will be destroyed. You will be replaced. Or what you need to do, just offer forgiveness. That's all. The devil trick. Be filthy like your father, the devil. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Until we see you soon again. Christ is Lord. Islam is a fraud. And Islam without lies dies. See ya. Take care. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. In it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan 
urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 